Good morning and win today. Emmanuel. My name is Joyce Monaisa. I'm staying in the south of Johannesburg. Uh, I'm here to shame the devil. Since Monday, I was not feeling well, having stomach ache, and it was like ulcers. But a week before, I went to go and see the doctor because he was coming and he gave him medication, which it was not helping at all. So on Monday, it started to be worse. And I was thinking if I have to go back to the doctor and tell him that this medication didn't help because he said, I'm giving you only for 10 days. So in 10 days has passed on, but it's still persisting. It's painful when I, after if eating, then when I go to bed at night, it's worse. I, I couldn't sleep. I was just think, what's happening? Then I changed and tossed at night. I couldn't sleep. So Friday, it was worse at night. I couldn't sleep and I say, hey, I think I have to go and see the doctor again. But I was thinking it's month end and it's not easy to ask and say, can I go and see the doctor? I'm not going to week in today. Then they'll say, it's a pattern. It's month end. You guys don't want to come and work. And I say, and I've already asked my manager that on Thursday, I'm not coming to work. I'm going with the volunteers to go and give the children uniform, those are in need of uniform. So I said, what am I going to do? I said that Saturday, yesterday, Saturday, I wanted to come to the Women of Divine Connections conference. But in the morning, it was painful. So I said to my son, I don't know if I have to go to church or maybe go and see the doctor or stay. Then he said, Mama, go to church. So I came and I came late. So it was nice. We were rejoicing, celebrating, but I was in pain. Then prophet came through, came in, and he, uh, he commanded us to go and get uh, the mantle of divine control for the, this mantle. Uh, which says, Lord, restore my crown of glory. So I went on and buy it. So, and he was declaring, was praying and then praying, and then he said, and he asked us to put it in our head, and later, then people were manifesting, then later he said, we must put it on our stomach. And it was painful, and I'm just sitting there, not showing people that I'm not feeling okay. So I put it in my stomach, by the way, putting on my stomach, and you hear now there's fight in the stomach. So I'm in pain, in pain. So after that, I could hear now the pain is subsiding a little bit. Then the, uh, the service was done. Then we went there to get fruits. And I said, let me take a banana, because I know eating a banana is also a problem. I took a banana and then go back home. When I get home, I said to my son, I, I'm not sure if I want to eat. Then he said, no, mama, I've made up food for you. Then I ate and take I said, let me take this banana and see if I'm going to have that pain again. I ate the banana, nothing happened. Clap hands for Master Jesus, people of God. You can do better than that for the King of Kings, the healers of healers. Mama, you're telling us that a problem of two weeks, when you stepped into this ministry, which is the Solution Center, you were healed immediately. Yes. People of God, sure. clap hands for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ma'am, while the man of God was praying and you had the mental in your stomach, what exactly was happening? It was painful. Just something is fighting inside my stomach because you know what? Something is like tearing up. And I could feel that, you know, this pain now, it seems like it's not echoing and it's persisting. But I know that by putting this mental on my stomach, something is going to happen. Deliverance is going to take place. Amen. Mama, you also mentioned that um, your uncles had um, experienced the same situation. Yes. My four uncles, they had answers and they passed away with answers in the hospital. All of them, they will go to hospital and they don't come back. And last year, my cousin, the one of uh, the last one of my uncle, called me and told me that he's got answers and problem. Asked me, "How am I treated?" I said, "Now nah, I'm going to church. I take this, and that's how." And then when I go to the doctor and I tell him, "Don't eat this, don't eat that," and she was worried. I say, "Hey, it seems like I'm I'm also full." I said, "You're not going anywhere. You're not gonna die. It's just ended with them. This is not gonna you're not gonna carry this case that whatever that is happening." So. During even this week, I was thinking, I said, eh, my anger's for them. 
they were sick. And I have to go back to the doctor. What if he sent me to hospital? I was thinking of all those, but by coming here yesterday, everything is gone. And I don't think I'll ever have that problem again. Amen. People of God, clap hands for Jesus Christ. So, Mama, you're telling us that that same untimely death that came to your family in the form of Alsad, of Alsad did not attack you and did not kill you because you stepped into the presence of God. Yes. People of God, clap your hands for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mama, now that God has healed you, could you please explain to us how you feel? No, today when I wake up, let me say, when I slept last night, I slept like a baby. I didn't feel any pain, whatever. I woke, when I woke up, I even mean, I woke up late. You know, when I woke up, I was thinking, hey, must I go and drink water? But I could feel, you know, that pain when you try to wake up and stand and do whatever, there was nothing like, I said, you know, God has healed me. I have to share this greatness of God today with the children Amen. of God. Amen. Mama, lastly, could you please share with us a word of advice? Uh, children of God, trust in the Lord. Trust in Master Jesus. He's the, he's the one that will heal us. If you trust him and believe in him, he will show you that he is he's still on the throne. Amen. People of God, clap hands for Master Jesus. Mama, we know that as God healed you and destroyed that spirit of untimely death, he will continue to bless you and your family more and more. Amen? Amen.